Okay, a viewer asked me a question about the you-know-what hits the fan. Essentially, if there's a crisis in this country and there's lawlessness, there's riots, and there's civil unrest, and basic systems collapse, and people are forced to fend for themselves, which rifle would an average person be better off using in this situation? Oh, yeah. Okay, Guitar Guy, 1789, asks, Dimcat, I have a question about my next gun purchase. I want to get either a Mossberg 100 ATR 308 or a Wasser 7.62x39. If everything did hit the fan, say, next year, what would be the best one of these two to get? First, you need to ask a better qualified person because <laughs> I'm not qualified to answer that question okay I'm not a survivalist I'm not an expert I never even pretend to be anything like it I'm just a regular guy attempting to prep now you need to speak with somebody like James Wesley Rawls or a professional but what I will do is try to answer your question by giving you my logic and, and giving you an idea of how I would approach this issue and then I'll allow the people in the comment section people who watch this videos people who may be in the military people who may who may have been in that type of situation I'll give them the opportunity to also advise you as well. So I'm going to give you my way of thinking. Okay, first it depends on what you need. To, what you need a weapon for? Are you going to need it for just long range, medium range, short range? You know, will you really need it for long range? If you live in an urban environment, which is where most Americans live in, urban or suburban environment, it means you're going to be living in an area where there's a lot of people relative to a rural area in a, sh in a square mile. You're going to have a lot of people, sort of, uh, more population density. So you're going to have more houses closer together, more buildings closer together. So most of the combat, if there is combat, if there's going to be any type of fighting, is going to be close quarters. Or it's, going to be sh it's going to be short to medium range. So in that situation, a 7.62 by 39 rifle uh, would be uh, more than enough to handle uh, engagements at 100 yards. You know, I mean, that's realistically what most people are going to have to be dealing with. A lot of people, they're going to have to be dealing with people trying to get to their area. But, I, I mean, a 308 is better equipped for longer ranges. And it's also better equipped for hunting. You can also hunt with both. With both uh, the AKM and the ATR. I actually have an ATR 30 out 6 and I've shot that uh, a few times, and I, I have to tell you, it's pretty accurate, and I had a lot of fun. It's accurate even when I'm shooting it, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I live in an urban area, so for me, I'm going with the AK because it gives me the ability to punch through concrete walls, uh, give me more penetration. It also... Uh, and only, it also gives me more firepower. You have a detachable magazine, which is something that the ATR does not have. Uh, that detachable magazine makes it easier for you to reload the weapon uh, fairly quickly. It also means that you know you have 30 rounds as opposed to maybe like five rounds from the ATR. Uh, if you only have uh, f four or five rounds and you're engaging uh, people, and especially if it's a boat action, it means it's going to be it's going to take longer for you to have a follow-up shot. So that may not be the best thing if you live in an urban area where people are closer together. Now, if I was in a suburban area, I would say, you know, uh, probably the AK still, because you still have the same type of situation, but a little, with a little bit more space. And uh, maybe the 308. Now, if I was in a rural environment, I would say maybe the AK and probably the 308. Uh, mainly because, you know, if we're talking about bolt action, it's very different from a semi-auto. Uh, just to give you guys an example, when I'm talking about both weapons seem to be pretty reliable for me, but just when you look at the AK alone, you know, 30 rounds, you know, if there's a conflict, you just, you just get a new magazine and bam, you got another 30 rounds going down range. Now my uh, ATR 30-06 is basically bullet action right here. So you take a shot, chamber another one, take a shot, chamber another one, and you know <laughs> you don't have any detachable magazines, so reloading is going to take a lot longer. So if you're in a rural area and you have more distance between you and strangers, 308 makes more sense because you can pick them off at a longer distance. 
if you're in the city, realistically, uh, I don't know if you're going to be on a rooftop taking sniper shots or taking long range shots. I, I don't know if that's even ethical because how do you even know that person's a threat to you? So this is how I sort of view the situation. So guys, tell me, how do you view this? You know, if you had to choose between these two weapons or really any type of weapons, though, you know, I, there's a lot of factors you have to go you have to account for. A lot of factors I would account for. Uh, reliability, how dependable is it, what type of reputation does it have, has it been used by a military. Remember the 308 is used by the United States military so th theoretically it should be more common than uh, 762 by 39 but I wouldn't anticipate picking up more ammunition in that type of scenario in a you know what it's a fan type of scenario anyway. But um, you guys tell me what you think. Alright guys thanks for watching, thanks for listening and don't forget the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Bye.